the mass is suspended by a non stretched spring and then set free without push find y as a function of time and maximum and minimum tensions of the spring so here it is unstretched so immediately you can imagine minimum tension will be zero but anyway we, after the unstretched spring is uh, is let go this mass is let go then it will start to perform shm so let's say it starts perform shm about this mean position so at equilibrium position we know forces are balanced so mg will be equal to ka so from here we immediately get amplitude of this shm is mg by k now let's represent this in phase diagram so let's assume y to be zero here not assume actually they have given that y is the displacement of the body from the equilibrium position so if this is the equilibrium position let's say y is the displacement of the body so this phase diagram we are considering y to be in positive y direction and this is where y is zero so initially the particle is here and then when it is let go it will start to perform shm so once this phase diagram is clear we can directly see what is the position of y which we need to find so y is equal to the projection of this on y axis so that is a cos omega t i should write a here so that there is no confusion so yeah the projection y is equal to a <laughs> actually it's better if i put it here uh, doesn't matter so a cos omega t is y now answer is given with y is displacement from the unstretched end but here he has clearly mentioned that y is displacement from the equilibrium position so let's go ahead with this answer second part find the maximum and minimum tension so again minimum tension is zero when the particle is here maximum tension is when the spring is stretched to its maximum so if this is a maximum tension will be k into 2a a is mg by k which gives 2 mg so it is independent of k all right